well good afternoon my dear students welcome back to sri guru independent view online classes in the previous classes we could discuss prose and poetry and today let us go to grammar aspects without grammar we can't do anything as you know well my dear students today let us discuss verb forms verb forms which has four marks question my dear students what are the rules to be followed in the verb forms in the verb forms there are two points to be remembered two points to be remembered how many points two points to be remembered right what are those number one is helping verbs number two is nail verbs well my dear students helping verbs in the sense usually here when we change verb forms we change them into from present tense to past tense i mean sometimes future tense to past tense let us discuss some of the helping verbs here to becomes did even does can also be can also be changed into did am into was are into were is into was has or have into had well my dear students if the given verb is into simple present tense then it can be changed into simple past tense if the given verb is into present continuous tense it can be changed into past continuous tense here also if the given verb is into present continuous tense then it can be changed into past continuous tense if the given verb is into present perfect tense it can be changed into past perfect tense well my dear students whenever we use past perfect tense we have to use past participle also i mean pp along with that pp now yes some of the auxiliaries can into may into might shall into should will into would my dear students used use use into used to to is infinitive verb and need need becomes ya needed there becomes there to ought becomes ought to these are all the auxiliary i mean auxiliaries well my dear students these can be changed yes many a times needed did to used to he did ought ought to only we use it 
we cannot uh, use it in the past tense right many a times only in similar circumstances very rarely we use ought to in the past tense right if it is compulsion in an action right so now let us move to main verbs some main verbs let us discuss though they are uncountable they are innumerable let us discuss some of them yes make made made watch 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 keep kept kept move moves moves strong auxiliaries and weak auxiliaries and even go went gone ring ran run hide hit hidden some auxiliaries are being used as it is like cut 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 shut 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 put put and put my dear students simple present tense simple past tense here past participle so there are uncountable but we need to go through it as you know it or you don't know the list of main verbs are already been given in the first pc english textbook i mean after completion of the prose and poetry so for your further words or auxiliaries i mean uh, main verbs or even not the main verbs for uh, not for the ending verbs but for the main verbs you need to go through the text fine so two things as i told you that we should remember are helping verbs and main verbs i mean in a in an examination they will ask you not to not to write it in this format but you should know these helping and main verbs in order to change based on the situation now let us go to some of the previous years model question papers so that you will be able to understand in what way they are going to give you in the examination Mara dash do in bracket 
not have not have any teeth on any teeth on the right side the right side of his mouth of his mouth mouth full stop he dash has has to chew everything chew everything on the left side on the left side full stop he dash b e aged and aged and perhaps they perhaps they perhaps they dash have plus fall of naturally of naturally yes this is fall my dear students in the examination they will be asking you in this form i mean four blanks are being given by giving you the clues in the brackets i will ask you people to transform them into past tense that is uh, sometimes simple past tense or sometimes into past perfect tense by adding past participle verbs right mara do becomes here did as we had already discussed we will learn it up mara in the sentence mara do not have any teeth on the right side of his mouth present tense so let us change it into only verb we are changing present into past tense so mara did do it to did did not have any teeth on the right side of his mouth he has to chew everything on the left side this is also into present tense so let us change it into past tense he had to he had to chew everything on the left side full stop next he this is b whenever b is given in bracket you need to change it into progressive participle i mean helping verbs of the present continuous tense or past continuous tense right here he was aged and perhaps they present perfect into past tense they had fallen of natural yes next hope you are following now 35th second exercise captain anthony captain anthony was not considered was not considered a rich slave holder a rich slave holder full stop he dash in bracket o w n o only 30 slaves only 30 slaves i i'm two or three forms two or three forms full stop his forms i slaves his forms i slaves dash be into bracket under the care of under the care of and overseer full stop mr plumber mr 
lamar dash b e and over here and over and over here and over here and over here full stop he was he was always he was always dash r r put into bracket with a cow skin with a cow skin and a person and a person well my dear students this is into past tense right captain anthony was not considered a rich slave holder he owned only 30 slaves and first one is first sentence is into past tense second sentence is into present tense right he owned only 30 slaves and two or three farms full stop these farms and slaves dash under the care of an overseer full stop mr clover dash b b b in bracket all right and overseer full stop he was always dash bracket start r bracket close with a cow skin and a cousin well captain anthony was not considered a rich slave holder simple present tense into simple past tense he owned what did he yes you can change it to he owned he owned only 30 slaves and two or three farms his farms and slaves were why it is into plural subject it is into subject is into plural so the verb will also be into plural right past tense his farms and slaves were under the care of an overseer full stop mr plumber was an overseer he was always armed armed into armed armed with a cow skin and a cousin hope my dear students you have gone through these two exercises let us go to the next exercise now the elephant next one the elephant elephant got busy got busy with with other ministers other ministers to appoint to appoint the commission appoint the commission of inquiry full stop they dash they choose mr mr fox as mr fox as the chairman chairman full stop but the commission but the commission but the commission dash has into bracket no one from the no one from the man society man society full stop 
man's sight. So the man, so the man dash protect into brackets I dash ask to include include one from his side one from his side very well, my dear students now so moving on to this uh, third exercise what is even here the elephant got busy with other ministers to appoint the commission of inquiry simple pastors they choose mr fox as the chairman simple presidents but the commission has no one from the man's side possessive form simple presidents of the presidents so the man protect dash protect i dash yes ask into bracket to include one from his side well the elephant got busy with other ministers to appoint the commission of inquiry they simple present tense includes the pastors they chose mr fox as the chairman but the commission had has it to had no one from the man's side next the so the man protected simple present tense into simple past tense right protected do protected i asked this is also simple present tense into simple past tense and asked to include one from his side now let us go to the next right well my dear students the goddess the goddess stood the goddess stood before me the goddess stood before me to stop her tresses her tresses dash v e b wild full stop her comma it has to be comma her eyes her eyes dash green green into bracket with strange light with strange light with strange light full stop she put two dashes here into bracket have plus splash s p l a s h splash bracket close her forehead with vermilion her forehead with vermilion with vermilion well my dear students here the goddess stood before me full stop her dresses dash white her eyes dash green with strange light she dash dash of splash her forehead with one million yes simple present tense present progressive participle i mean present progressive participle and uh, this is into yes present tense only well here in the first sentence the goddess stood before me yes next full stop her dresses be means continuous tense her dresses were white her eyes were her eyes were green not green the eyes were green her eyes were only you need to fill up yes were not green here it has to be given with b b let us strike out bracket like let us strike out the bracket fine 
Ninth correct. The goddess stood before me. Full stop. Her dresses were white. Her eyes were green with strange light. Full stop. She had a splash. Why had present perfect tense helping verb is has or have. So have is him. Had plus splash. Splash means split into. Different directions. I mean, vermilion, vermilion, which was applied by the goddess, was split into different directions. Right? Had splashed her forehead with vermilion. Well, next now. Hope uh, oh, you are following it. Now, well, my dear students. I'll uh, remove the third exercise and let us go to the one more exercise in this grammar prospect. Without any 
sort of obstacles. Thank you very much for watching Sri Guru Independent View online classes. Once again, uh, I request people to go through the grammar classes so that it will be more helpful for your well-scoring. Thank you so much.